call them pale or reddish pink or any other adjectives that may intentionally cause pain or insult. Remember, we must do unto others as we would like done to us. I would and I suggest that we respectfully refer to them or call our now erroneously um, called white human brothers and sisters Caucasians, Europeans, Americans or Canadians etc. My YouTube family and friends and particularly my African brothers and sisters. When we call our label people white we are actually giving away our blessings and our power to many people that do not deserve to be called by that name white. Knowing this fact, do you still honestly think and believe that the slave masters the, that mistreat that mistreated our African ancestors deserved to be called white? I honestly do not think so. Knowing this fact, do you still honestly think that the, the police officer or police officers that would, without legal or moral reasons, racially profile you, insult you, harass you, violate your basic human rights and human dignity, or treat you with impunity, is he or she or they deserve to be called white? I personally do not think so. People that would train and use angry dogs to hunt, maim, and rip human flesh apart because they perceive us to be inferior to them because of the shade or color or our skin complexion? I personally do not think so. And all the other erroneously called white people, our human brothers and sisters that are racist, and are in positions of power and authority that abuse their privilege and exploit, dehumanize, demoralize, abuse and dis despise us because they were taught to believe that people of African descent, earthlings and aboriginals, aborigines are black. Therefore, we are inferior, savages and less than them. Do you honestly believe that they earn the appellation, the sacred status of being called white? I personally don't think so. Let us stop giving away our power, strength and blessing to those who may not be deserving of it or may not have earned it. And let us keep things equal and neutral among us as the one human family. However, if you are satisfied with what you are getting by being called black and calling others white, then keep on doing what you are doing. In the meantime, if you think I deserve to be called white, I humbly beg that you do so. But please don't call me black because I'm not. If this, what I have said, make any sense to you, or if you think that it might even be true. Here is what I ask that you do. Please don't call CNN. Just call, text, Twitter, email, or tell a friend so that we may start to bring this conspiracy, the great big white lie, to an end. Now, I'm not expecting my Caucasian, European, American, or Canadian erroneously called white people that are the direct and indirect beneficiaries and inheritors of the benefits and sometimes unearned privileges and prestige of this conspiracy, the great big white lie, to join in this campaign. For it is definitely not in their interest, and frankly speaking, maybe if I was in their position, I would not want to be dethroned and all the privilege that, of all the privilege that they now enjoy. This is, an, this is an African calling. This is not even an ancestral calling. For from my perspective, they are, they are already dead. 
And if they could help us get rid of this conspiracy, this big white lie, they would be more than happy to have done so long ago. This is the living calling. This is an internet calling. This is an African calling. In closing, please allow me to paraphrase one of Bob Marley's song for justice, equal rights, and peace. And I quote, or paraphrase, for until the color of a person's skin is of no more significant than the color of his or her eyes, there will be no peace amongst humanity. I am the mystic philosopher. Please join me for part two when I will talk about the big black lies or the big black lie. And thanks very much for your patience, your time and for listening.